Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make small paper purses. I've already made a couple of these. What do y'all think? You can use these for anything you want. You can use them as little gift bags. I put stationery. You can put anything you want in there and you can embellish them up any way you want to. These are super easy. The supplies that you're going to need is a piece of, of designer series paper measuring four and a half by seven and a half and 12 by four and a half. You're gonna need a piece of five by eight. Any color you want is for the bottom. You're going to need two one inch pieces for the straps and you're going to need two three quarter inch by 11 and two three quarter inch by eight and a half. And you're going to need an embellishment if you choose. You're gonna need your bone folder, some scissors, and an adhesive. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna see how fast and easy this is, y'all. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is I am going to score my paper at one inch all the way around. you see it looks like this you can see the score lines on here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in the inch on each side this is going to make the bottom of your purse I'm not really sure if I mentioned I don't think I mentioned what kind of paper I'm using today I am using this paper and it's by Echo Park. Now, let me show you this one really fast. It's the Be Mine Collection from Echo Park. And here's the SKU. It is 192823. You can see it right there. Okay. Okay, so let's keep going. So I'm gonna finish folding in my sides and fold in the end. Now, I'm gonna have to use some double-sided tape, and I'm going to put tape on the corners just to hold these little flaps so they'll make our box for the bottom. Let's go ahead and this. Got a little glue on here. It's all good, it's gonna go inside. Try to make it as flush as you can if you don't gonna be okay. okay okay so this is your base y'all there you go got a little box okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put um, let's see I think that for this one we're gonna use this as the outside so we're gonna put some adhesive on the bottom of each one of these pieces. Okay, there's this one. Okay. I think I got a little glue on my surface here. Oh, so it's about time to get that off. Okay, I'm gonna get some more tape over here. This particular side right there. Okay, so I've got this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I should not say take, I'm gonna fight with getting my red tape strip off like I usually do. Maybe if I grew my fingernails, it'd help. Nah, I don't wanna grow my fingernails. Okay, y'all, let me get this off eventually here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel it about halfway off for now. Okay, so how we're going to start this is we're going to start it on 
the corner. We're going to start it, well, not really the corner. We're going to do it on the side. So I think that the best way to show you is you kind of line it up with the bottom like this. And you're going to make it as flush to the bottom as you can. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab the rest of my red tape and get that off. And I'm going to go all the way around the bottom the best that you can. And when I get over here, I'm going to have to adhere these two together. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tape off of this one. See if I can get it off. need to make this a little bit easier. So I don't have to fight with it every time. Okay, let me get this. Okay, this one does not want to come off. Come on, tape. Y'all, this tape is really that good. There we go, finally. Okay, so I got my tape off. I'm gonna go ahead and give it some adhesive over here so I can join the two pieces together. I'm gonna try to make, line it up the best I can. And then I'm going to continue to follow the bottom of my box all the way around. If you don't get it flushed, pull it off. Just kind of get it on there. Okay, I promise you, this right here, this is the hardest part, is just getting it flush on here. Okay, so we've found our way around. I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive over here on this side. And I almost had a runaway purse. But it's been saved. And I'm going to use it all. There you go, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love the print. So now just give it a little bit of creases up here, just on the corners, okay? Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our trim. Okay, so I've got my two, three, three fourths by 11 and two, three fourths by eight and a half. Okay, so we need one for each. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this tape for, for it for it this time. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Let's just start on the side so the seam is on the side, and then I'm going to. You can peel it off if you don't get it totally straight. Uh, let me let me see. I don't really like that. There we go. Much better. Can you use your hand to guide it around? That's the best, best thing to do. Let's try to get as close as you can. I'm gonna put, put some adhesive on the other piece. Okay, we are almost done. I'm going to overlap it a little bit here. I'll keep going all the way around. And I've got a little bit extra. I'm going to give it some extra tape here. That way it will stay on really well. And there's the outside. And I think I need a little bit more adhesive right here. Let's see if I can do this without laying it down. There we go. Okay, so 
So this is what we got so far. Now let's do the in the inside trim. You don't have to do this part, but I kind of think it looks nice. So we're gonna start on the inside. Let's see, where did I start my seam? It's over here, so I'm gonna start over here as well again. Gonna line it up to the top. quarter inch piece. Give it some good tape. Okay. And I'm going to keep following it around until I get to the end over here. Y'all, these are so cute, aren't they? Now, you get to the end, it overlaps. Yeah, I don't bother with clipping it off. I just overlap it and tape it down. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Okay, so now we need to put the straps on. So that's what we have the one inch by 11. And I'm just gonna use my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. Give myself some little nice rounded edges. You do not have to do this. I just think it's pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead with this one. This is taking shape, huh? Okay, so we got our two, and since I have my trusty thick red tape out here, I'm going to use that for my straps. And pray I don't have to fight to get it off. This one worked much better. Okay, I got the one side, so I'm just going to kind of line it up on the side wherever I feel it's the best thing for it to do, for it to go. And I've got one strap down, one to go. And I'm going to get one last piece of my thick red tape. And I'm going to it on each end of this and I'm going to adhere this. Now you want to make sure that you use some good thick tape because or a really good adhesive because you know you're going to hold this and you want to make sure it's sturdy. Okay so I got my pieces off. I wonder why the little one is so much harder to get off. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of line this up. myself a purse, y'all. Isn't that sweet? Okay. Let's just say we're going to do another flower on this one. So let me see. Oh, we've got some scraps laying around. So let me grab my paper. And I'm going to use this. This is uh, by Recollections. I'm just going to use this and chop myself some flowers. Here. And let's just give it two more. Let's see if I can punch these at the same time. I think I did. Okay, we're gonna get this. This would be a good way to get rid of your scrap shell. Okay, so I got my three little flowers, and I am going to just use my hot glue gun. I'm going to stick them together. You can do it in any color sequence you want. Kind of make them where they cut so you can see some of the flowers. I wonder why those don't show. But that's okay. We'll start these like this. So. We can see okay so when you get this just kind of bend your petals up you can see that just kind of bend your petals up now you could put a little embellishment in the center if you like but I'm just gonna glue this on 
You can hang a gift tag on here. You can hang anything you want. You can put ribbon around it, whatever you like. So what do y'all think, y'all? This one is super cute. This one's super cute. You can use these for anything. They're just so fun. They'd be great at baby showers. They'd be great at, at, at great at really bridal showers. You could use these for like the favor bags. Isn't that gonna, wouldn't that be cute? So anyway, well, here you go, y'all. Um, I hope that you like my video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Please do that for me and help me out with that. And until my next video, see you later. Bye.